What up, fam? I don't even do videos. I don't even take selfies. So I might be messing up a little bit when I'm doing this. But I just been really tripped out of all, all the love, bird man. Been getting with to put some respect on my name. Think it's just kind of strange that somebody like him is getting a little love from going on the Breakfast Club with some real ignorance. So let's talk about that for a second. And, and I definitely want to say, if I was Charlemagne, what, what I would have done. And it's easy to say that because I wasn't there, but just my opinion. So walk with me if you want to. Um, first of all, Birdman, you say let's put some. You want to put respect on your name. So let's talk about putting some respect on your name for a second. Why would we want to do that, Birdman? You do absolutely nothing in the city of New Orleans. If you want to say you came down here and did a Thanksgiving turkey giveaway, maybe a bike giveaway, maybe even a school supply giveaway, okay. I give you a little respect for that because that is your money, that is your, that is your time, and you came out and you did that for our kids. Respect for that. But Birdman, other than that, you do nothing. You are you are a powerful figure from the city of New Orleans. You can actually help save lives, not by giving nobody no money. That's not what I'm talking about. By giving them opportunity, because you have that power right now to give opportunity. But yet you take that power, go on a breakfast club. Which a lot of people go in the breakfast club with a little attitude. I seen um K Michelle going in, check Angela Lee. Yeah, I'm sorry. And um uh Fredro Starr went on there and check Charlemagne. You know, you have that. Charlemagne, if you want to see he's doing his job, that's what he's paid to do, almost like the police are paid to ride around and patrol the neighborhoods. And if they see the same guy standing on the same corner, for two, three hours, yeah, I'm going to hack him up and find out what's going on, maybe prepare him down, run his name in. We call it harassment. The police call it protection. So, Charlemagne, you're doing your job. You're reading blogs, Facebook, Twitter, the whole nine yards, people sending you stuff, reports, TMZ. You probably got a connection in there. So you get your input. You go on the radio station, you put it out. Cool. Not a problem. Here's where... The whole situation missed me, and if I was Charlemagne, this is what I would have did. Because Birdman actually came in uh, with the attitude, like, put some respect on my name, all three of y'all, the whole tree, I'm sorry, all three of y'all, glasses on, glasses off, glasses on, glasses on, like, really, Birdman, it's almost like he rehearsed it a little bit. When that Charlemagne, Charlemagne was like, well, why are you coming at the radio host? You know, I, I could have seen, I seen, I heard you was at a club somewhere, I could have rolled up on you, what you was going to do, kill me? Because if you wanted to fight me, we could fight right now. And then after I fight you, I could fight the other six, seven dudes you brought with you. Because, you know, that's your protection. But you're coming in here talking greasy. Anybody from New Orleans or from any hood in America, when someone says to you while you're talking, what's am? That means they're tired of listening and they're tired of talking. They want to do some action. So if anybody ever said, man, what's am? Like Birdman asked Charlie Man three times, then pretty much... Birdman wanted to do some action. So when you say that, Birdman, that means you are saying what you wanted to fight him. You went to the club. I'm hoping that's what it was, and I'm hoping you're not talking about killing because, you know, the, the goony lifestyle and the killing lifestyle is very, very, very much getting played out because, as we can see in America, it's time for everybody to start sticking together, not just by race, by, but just by being alive. And um, when, when Birdman did that, I was, I was definitely confused. So when he said, put some respect on my name, I would definitely ask him well, let's earn some respect first bird man let's come back to the city where you was born and raised where you hustled in the streets at and kind of give some of that love back not saying in money nobody's asking for your money we're asking for your opportunity man don't go on the breakfast club making us look bad because that's exactly what you did anybody from new orleans if you didn't really feel embarrassed about the bird man ignorance because maybe you might share the same ignorance in your system but not hating on nobody and not giving no kind of shade to anyone neither. Birdman, you went on there. You said what you said to Charlotte, man. You was hoping he would have act ignorant, but dude definitely did turn grown on you and you got mad and you left like little boys do. So, in my opinion, I'm going to just send out this channel to you, Birdman, or anybody from the Birdman camp. 
if you have a problem with somebody, learn to express it when you see them instead of just wanting to have action. Express that problem and maybe these two grown adults can come to some kind of resolution. Even if the resolution is they ain't going to rock with each other no more. It's better than violence. It's better than a big fight. It's better than y'all jumping Charlemagne on the job. But man, you're not stupid. You know you to put your hands on you and went to jail. So that's why you brought your seven goons with you. Because I think by Charlemagne being from New York and from a lot of people saying, you know, what hood he's from and how he is, I think Charlemagne would have punched you in your face if you was by yourself but he wasn't stupid neither because no matter how big or how tough you is you ain't beating seven people at one time stop it but at the end of the day bird man this is definitely a challenge for you come home come show the love that some love for the people uptown they don't have no the, the no programs are doing nothing come back and, and, and give some opportunity bird man and then when you say put some respect on your name you'll have some respect to put on the name right now it's tough for you that was just my message. Wanted to get that off my chest, you know. So um, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day.